A oh, job in law enforcement is one of the more dangerous to embark upon, and being married to someone who protects and serves also a tough job. And that is why a group of local women started a group that offers support to other wives. KEZI 9 News reporter Jennifer Richardson has more on the new group. The newly formed nonprofit is called Sisters in Law. The women meet once a month to offer support, get advice, fundraise, and even have a little fun. It's all smiles as these ladies enjoy a fun night of bunko. But beyond the games, these ladies' lives are much like these dice. Unpredictable. That's because they're law enforcement wives. Even if they're not working, they could be subject to a call out and have to leave, you know, in the middle of swimming lessons or soccer. And it's not just scheduling they worry about. We kiss goodbye and we hope and pray that they come home at the end of the night. The danger factor. Uh, the fact that your husband's come home sometimes on an adrenaline high and need time to come down off of that before kids jump all over saying daddy, daddy, daddy. To help navigate the waters of this worrisome work, Haley Martin, whose husband is an Oregon State Trooper, decided to form Sisters in Law. It's a new, first of its kind nonprofit where women can simply support each other. The group meets once a month and has nearly 80 members, and they even have guest speakers. All of us women being able to talk about some of those things and hear speakers come and talk about some of those things to help us, you know, go home and learn how to cope with what our husbands are dealing with is really important and really helpful and probably crucial to a lot of relationships. Everyone's going through the same thing you are, and they have the same feelings and thoughts, and um, you can talk to them about it, and it's, it's just really great to have that. You'll all be able to read it and then sign off on it. The group just formed in January, but it's already stepped up in times of trouble. You may recall back in July when a Vancouver, Washington officer was shot seven times during a traffic stop. He is now recovering. Haley Martin and her husband are friends with him. My husband left to go up there and immediately help them, but I did have several people reach out and say, how can we help you from our group? And the ladies also want to spread the love into the community. We decided we're going to go ahead and do shop with a cop. It's scheduled for next Thursday, and some of the little shoppers will actually be kids from the families affected by the recent mill fire in Springfield. Some excitement when they go back to school would just be great. And when business talk is done, it's back to Bunko. It's nice to um, support each other throughout the year as well, and then really know people so that when those tragedies hit, um, you can support in an even different way. Sisters in law but it would seem quickly becoming more of Sisters for Life. If you would like more information on Sisters in Law, you can go to our website, kezi.com, and we also have info there on donating to Shop with a Cop. In the studio, Jennifer Richardson, KEZI 9 News.